Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority app guy. We're nearing the end of December, which means it's time to round up the best Android apps of 2015. Adobe long ago promised that they would take Android a lot more seriously and they definitely proved it in 2015. They released a ton of applications including Lightroom Mobile, Capture CC, Illustrator Draw, Photoshop Mix, Shape CC, Brush CC, and Color CC. These applications all have a range of functionality from photo editing, advanced photo editing, illustration, design, and other creation tools. You'd be hard pressed to find a better suite of tools for designers, photographers, and other creative types and they're all free to use. Apple Music may not be what Android fans want to see on this list, but it actually is a pretty decent little service. It boasts 30 million songs, radio stations, live radio, and a bunch of content. It competes head-to-head -head with the likes of Spotify and Google Play Music in terms of content available, although individual features may be more tempting based on personal taste. In either case, that is one more awesome option that people have for streaming music. The application itself still needs work, but we assume Apple will eventually take care of that. After a long wait, Cortana landed on Android in early December. Microsoft's cross platform virtual assistant now gives Android users a second big choice aside from Google now that can do things like put stuff on your schedule, call and text people, and even tell jokes. It's a long way away from being complete and it's been very well documented that the application has some problems right now, but it is totally free to use and it's almost certainly going to greatly improve over the course of the next year. Khan Academy is an online learning resource that can help teach you things or help you brush up on things that you haven't studied in a while. There are a variety of subjects to check out including math, science, economics, history, and plenty of others. In the application, you can watch videos about various subjects and bookmark your favorite content. Of course, the phone and the site sync up so you can almost always start again where you left off. Learning is a lifelong endeavor and this is a decent application to help you keep going. Cody is a media center application that was once known as XBMC. Of course, legal things happened that caused the name change, but Cody is still the epic and powerful media center app that it always was before. The official version was released to the Google Play Store this year and includes a full interface face where you can browse your TV shows, music, movies, and a whole lot more. There is also third-party plugin support, it is entirely open source, and it is completely free to use. Like the developers, we don't recommend using it on smaller screens. Microsoft Office took its sweet time making it to Android, but it was well worth the wait. All the way back in January, we saw the applications released for tablets with phone releases coming later on. Each application is entirely free to use for the most part, and they're all extremely solid and functional. You can get more features if you use an Office 365 subscription, but either way, this is a seriously powerful office suite and we're happy to finally have it on Android. Periscope is one of the most unique applications to come out this year. It allows pretty much anyone to live stream what they're doing through their phone camera and pretty much anyone can watch the streams. It's been a favorite of bloggers, web stars, and even one dude who periscoped himself brushing his teeth. The name of the application has already become a verb and that's how you know you've done something special in the software space. Sling TV made some serious waves when it was released earlier this year. It's not the first service to offer live streaming TV, but it is among the first and among the largest to offer it without an existing cable subscription. You can get about two dozen channels with a basic subscription with add-ons for things like sports or kids channels at an additional cost. The application still needs some work, but the premise is amazing and we hope they expand on it in 2016. Google spent a great deal of time expanding YouTube earlier this year. They introduced YouTube Red, a subscription service that removes advertising and gives you additional features. They also released YouTube Kids, YouTube Gaming, and YouTube Music. These specialized versions of YouTube take away the general bric-a-brac and give you a leaner collection of stuff that you might actually want to search for. They're all free but can be enhanced with the aforementioned subscription and each one comes with their own set of unique features. And our pick for the best Android app released in 2015 is Google Photos. This application changed the game when it came to online photo storage, sharing, and backup. It provides free, unlimited photo and video storage as long as you don't mind them reducing the quality just a little bit. It. There are also a variety of sorting features, editing features, sharing features, and labeling features that make this a truly powerful application that literally everyone can appreciate. All right, folks, that about does it for this video. If you want to check out any of these Android apps, we'll have those linked up for you in the video description below. Also, don't forget to check out these awesome videos right over there, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to check out the written companion, it is linked in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.